This is a typewriter. And for the next 30 days, I'll be only using this to type. Write my scripts. I am currently writing the script of the video. And even pitch to Razer. I think Razer should be coming out with a brand new product, the Razer Taser. And why am I doing this? I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny. So to start this project, we'll need a typewriter. This is the Olympia 8405. I don't even know its actual name because the name tag broke off. Weighing in at only 50 pounds, this typewriter is extremely portable. Under the hood, we got metal, metal, and metal. Do you really want to type on this shitty keyboard? No! It writes, it glides, it's the brand new slightly used out of warranty Olympia 8405. Some of you keen eye viewers might have noticed this typewriter at the back of my videos. It might have also been sitting at the back of my room for about two years now. Well, this typewriter was originally meant for a video where I turned this into a functioning, working computer keyboard. But that didn't work. Also, the typewriter didn't even work to begin with. It would get jammed after a few strokes and it couldn't even type. But luckily on a random day, my grandpa just took this out and fixed it. A shout out to grandpa. And now, it works. So with it working, we can finally start this horrible idea of a video. I needed to learn how to use this first. I was taught the basics from my grandpa, so here's a one minute quick rundown on how a typewriter works. These are called type bars. They have an engraving of both a small letter and a capital letter. When you press a key, the corresponding type bar will slam against this thing called a ribbon. The ribbon is coated with a pigment, mainly tar, and is fed from the ribbon spool. This massive thing is called the carriage, and the lever attached to it skips a line and pushes the carriage back to the start. Backspace goes back a space. The shift key literally shifts the whole column of type bars up to access the capital letters. Also, this is why the shift key is called shift. The symbol SL stands for shift lock, or also known as caps lock. And this is a piece of paper. I, I think you already knew that one. And now that we know how to use it, it's time to write our first word. Oh my, dude. Dude. Your mom. Now since today is the first day, I'm gonna be timing myself to see how many words I can write in a minute and I'll be doing this every 7 days. I screwed up on the last passage. Alright, so I've marked a piece of paper and we've done 22 words per minute. We definitely can do better but this is only day 1. Day 2 was pretty easy. I needed to buy groceries and I usually use the reminders app to write down my list, but we don't really have that anymore. So I typed it out on the typewriter. But one small problem, I came to realize... I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh my god, I couldn't even smell cream. I put CH. When you make a mistake, you can't undo it. Remember how the backspace literally only goes back a space and it can't magically erase what you've already written, unlike how a computer would? So let's just say my list of grocery items was not the cleanest. All right, so this is my list. It's not the neatest, but you know what? It's gonna get the job done. Nah, bro is capping. There's no way this is readable. But you know what will make it readable? Today's sponsor. AI is taking over the world and now they have taken over Grammarly. No! In a good way. Oh, okay. Introducing Grammarly Go. The folks over at Grammarly took AI and added it into Grammarly. And now, Grammarly can do this. Ever needed some inspiration for your work? Simply input a prompt like give me ideas for a Mr. Beast video. And Grammarly Go will provide you ideas to get you going. Not your style of writing? Personalize your voice by setting your tone and determining how you want to sound. Do you have a bunch of emails that you just don't want to reply? You can also use Grammarly Go to help reply your emails. Grammarly Go can go so far as to even take context from the email that you're replying to, and it will use that context to help you craft a reply based on your prompt. Does your script writing suck and have no personality? kind of like mine, highlight it, click on Grammarly Go, and ask it to rewrite your script with more personality. This feature is so useful that even I used it for the script. I'm just kidding guys, I didn't use any AI to write the script. Or did I? I've been a big fan of Grammarly myself. I personally use Grammarly every day and no, this is not something they paid me to say. I literally bought two years of Grammarly Premium on my own. If you don't believe me, here's the transaction history, my PayPal, my address. So I could keep going on about this, but why not you just Grammarly go try it out yourself? If you use my link grammarly.com slash squashyboy, you can get 20% off Grammarly Premium. All right, thanks Grammarly, and let's get back to the video. So with the really scuffed shopping list, I went to buy out the ingredients and it actually worked out really well. Do you know where's the mustard? Huh? I eventually found the mustard and also the rest of the things I need. So with that done, we can move on to day four. Okay, it's technically like day four to six or something like that. 
I didn't really do much with the typewriter, I was just experimenting around with it. So while researching this project, I found out there are a bunch of people who actually do typewriter art. Essentially what they do is they use the limitations of a typewriter and the fonts and they type out these masterpieces, like they take days and even months sometimes. And so I thought to myself, you know, I'm pretty artistic myself, so why not try my hand at one of these art pieces? And so I did that. You know, it's pretty cool. I think it encompasses all of what nature and beauty is all about, you know. Fully typed out with the percent symbol, I think definitely one of the crazier art pieces that I've done compared to this thing. I, I can't draw. All right, it's day seven, and that means it's time for the one minute typing test. Okay, just before we start the typing test, I just want to do a quick update since it's been a week. My text messages now look like this. I spent a whole day trying to convince my friend that I can't play games. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, it's just one game. It's just one. No, I literally can't play CS. Dude, are you trying to troll? Why aren't you moving? I told you I can't move! And I think I've gotten a bit faster typing with the typewriter. So let's see with the one minute typing test. That was so bad. That was so bad. Okay, so I just did the calculations and I did a total of 30 words per minute. So I've gotten a bit faster at typing, I just need to work on accuracy now. One thing I realized is that you don't actually need to type that hard on the typewriter to get the keystroke to register. Because the first time I did this, I was like slamming the keys really hard, but now I'm just pressing a bit softer. That's, that's my grandma. Say hi. Okay, never mind, she's gone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I went out to buy more paper. It seems like I ran out, so I just went to buy more. Paper is like six bucks, dude. This is so expensive. Anyway, I did get the paper and I went home and put it into the typewriter. And yeah, that's all I did for that day. It's kind of lame. Day 9 to 12. It was actually 11, but I didn't want you guys to get confused with a different thing. I spent the next three nights just writing scripts and ad reads and all the random stuff I do for YouTube. It was a pain. I am currently writing the script of the video and it's about 12 a.m. in the morning. One thing I realized is that the typewriter is really loud and my family probably hates me now. But hey, it's still quieter than box jades, am I right? <laughs> so everything was going smoothly until day 13. So I received an email from Razor saying that they would like to bring the email forward to this Friday instead which is tomorrow. I was very reluctant to reply, but I did say yes, I will be able to make it this Friday. And their response was a little confused. They were a little confused, but that also means that I have to get the pitch, the slides, and also the pamphlet done by today. Uh, now, I better get going, I guess. I realized I never explained this in a video, but basically Razor invited me down to their building just to pitch them three new ideas. All right, so I'm done with the pamphlet. All that's left to do is to staple them together and pack it up for tomorrow's pitch. And so tomorrow arrived, day 14, the big day. I was pretty nervous walking in because this is the first time I'm doing this. There's no way they're gonna reject my ideas, right? Anyways, this is the start of the Razor pitch. Hi, uh, Razor representatives. I'm down here. You invited me down here. Here's a pamphlet for both of you guys. Are we ready to start with the, the products? Yeah, sure. We've all been there. It's a dark alley. You get kidnapped. It's very common. You know, I, I myself have not done that. So I think Razor should be coming out with a brand new product, the Razer Taser. Basically, it's all aluminum, Razer Chroma RGB, as the Razer like it. Huh? Huh? Go on. Okay, um, the standard, USB-C, all the things. Razer optical triggers, or trigger in this case, for the trigger. So this is the next product. It's, it's hot. It's really hot in Singapore recently. This was yesterday's temperature, 34 degrees, which is crazy. I got a chart of uh, Singapore's temperature recently. It's been getting really hot. The Razer fan. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. I, I know it sounds a bit dumb, but it's gonna have chroma RGB as well. Uh, it looks cool, I, I think. It is cool. It, it, it will cool you down. It blows you. Sorry, what again? Uh, I did a mock-up of this actually. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's 3D rendered. I don't know if you could tell. It's really good actually, but... Is it no. a helicopter? It's just that strong. Right. Okay, yeah, it's, not, it's not really working out. You guys are not ready for this next one. Raise the car. We've done this before, right? It's okay. I think this will be better. Fully electric. Gender neutral for any gender to use the car. Powered by Razer Synapse for the infotainment system. It's a fast car. I actually crunched the numbers. Car itself, 200 horsepower. Hmm. Okay, I, I know you guys don't really understand horsepower because you guys don't really deal in horses. So I actually did do the numbers for snakes as well. 7,000 snakes. So it's a really fast car. Yeah, any thoughts on the products? Uh, I 
don't know, they they have good ideas, but I don't think there's something that really. They are ideas, They are ideas. They are ideas. They are definitely ideas. I mean, thanks for including Chroma in, but uh, yeah, I like Chroma. Do you think we can strike something? We'll have to get back to you on that, I think. Okay, so I know you guys were going to say that. So, could you flip to the next page for me? And uh, read it out, what it says. Look behind you. Sure about the razor taser. The razor pitch went flawlessly. Honestly, it could not have gone any better than that. And yeah, that's it for today. Alright, moving on, day 16 or something like that, I don't even remember anymore. From here on out, I'm just gonna highlight all the important parts because this video is getting too long. I did the typing test today. It's pretty cool, I got a bit faster, I think. Alright, I'm back with the results. 42 words per minute. That's not bad, I mean, that's probably above the average of words per minute, right? Wait, how much is the average for words per minute? Siri? What is the average typing speed? Here is what I've found. The average typing speed is around 40 words per minute. We are two above the average. Finally, for once in my life, I'm above average. No, no, just no. All right, day 18. This one is actually pretty interesting. So I thought it would be funny to write a physical letter to one of my friends. I spent like the whole day and a couple of mistakes, but it was pretty good. All right, so here's the letter I wrote to him. I'm going to save you the trouble of reading it. I'm going to read you the best part. I partook in my very first shower. Never before have I encountered such sensations for the cascading waters did cleanse and invigorate my very soul. It was an extraordinary encounter unlike any other. Basically, me explaining showering for the first time. <laughs> I used a really old way of writing, kind of like medieval English for the letter. I don't know why I thought it would fit with the theme of a typewriter, but I realized they already had proper English when they started using a typewriter. Kind of stupid. All right, so we sent the letter. <laughs> and yeah, so I sent it out. It's pretty cool, parody shipping. I think it's like two days only. Okay, but nothing could prepare me for day 20. Something really bad happened. I got a haircut. Alright guys, it's day 24, and I just got something in the mail. No way. It's my own letter that I sent out. Okay, so I found out that you can't ship out mail to friends that you don't have. That was too expensive for a no friends joke. All right, last day, let's just get this over with. All right, so this is it, day 30. I've been using this for a month now and here are my thoughts. Number one, I will never do this again. Not even in a million years. Dude, I'm pretty sure I lost the Razor contract because of this thing. Or oh, it could have been because of me, but. Number two, there was a reason why humans have evolved to use keyboards and not this, because it sucks. <laughs> and number three, I actually kind of had a lot of fun using this. It's something about typing really hard on an analog device, mechanical, you see, it's fully wireless, no batteries included. It's kind of therapeutic, like, especially when it was in the night and I was typing my script. But yeah, with that said, I kind of don't want to get rid of this. I can't possibly get rid of the typewriter now because it's served me so well for the past 30 days. It's been so nice to me, it hasn't jammed that much. I have a very special place that I want to put this typewriter. In hell.